Om Shanti. In today's blessing, the 62nd day of your blessing, Papa actually tells us that during this time when I come down on earth, I come down to give you children the path, the knowledge and the method of going into liberation. To be liberated from a lot of things in a life, we human beings are suffering because we are thinking a lot of thoughts. So Baba with his divine knowledge is giving us the method of reducing those number of thoughts by making the whole world revolve around God. Like the whole world revolves around money and people and relationships. Baba says that once you start transitioning, your whole world will revolve around God the Father. So let's see, let's understand what exactly does he mean to say by that. So Baba says, may you have unlimited disinterest and experience the whole world in the one father. Unlimited disinterest, not just limited that you leave some things, you leave your family and go and stay in the jungles and become a saint or a sannyasi. You start staying at an ashram or you start staying at, staying at some kind of a retreat and then you feel that I'm away from my family, I'm more peaceful. No? Baba says that while staying with the family, you need to be in peace. That's the challenge here, which we learn at Brahma Kumaris. So only those who consider the father to be their world can have unlimited disinterest. That means everything which Baba tells us what to do, what not to do, what to think, what not to think, whom to be with, whom not to be with, what to eat, what not to eat, how to sit, how to get up, what to wear, what not to wear, right? All those things, the whole lifestyle changes and God decides how we live our life from here on so that we can easily transition into liberation. So, Baba says, those who have just the Father as their world, would just stay in their world. Whose world? Baba's world. They would not get involved into anyone else and so they automatically step away. Step away from getting entangled into so many disturbing relationships, so many disturbing relationships, not just with human beings but with things also. Some people while leaving their body, they remember, they remember certain food items. They remember certain things which they are hidden from other people. Maybe the gold, maybe the watch, maybe anything. It could be anything which they have been keeping very close to their heart. So Baba says, even those things belong to the Father now. They are no longer yours. So Baba says, both people and positions are included in the world. Right? The Father's wealth means my wealth. The Father's people who are following Father's direction means they are my people now. But the people who are following the opposite direction, the negative, impure direction, are no longer my people. I am there to serve them and show them the path, but I am not going to be in connection with them, not going to be influenced by them, not going to be attracted by them, because I am now in God's world. My path for liberation is being decided by my father. By maintaining this awareness, you will become one who has unlimited disinterest in things and in people because everything which belongs to me is actually given by God but now I give it back to Baba to have it for the sake of any service which I can do through them whether it's money, whether it's things, whether it's your vehicle you're putting everything back into godly service obviously you're living your own life also but that thing doesn't belong to you anymore so attraction or connection or the, or, the, or the feeling bad thing when something happens to your things, to your positions, doesn't come very easy because now they are not God's things. So you're getting detached from things and you're getting detached from people. Not staying away from things and people, but getting detached while having them. That's a beautiful feeling to have actually. While looking at others, you will not see anyone. What does that mean? It means... That you will only see God. You will see only godly qualities. You won't be connected or attached to a person's name, post, position. But you will be seeing everybody through the eyes of God now. So, if anyone comes in front of you, you're not going to be perturbed. You're not going to be disturbed. Or you're not going to be in wow 
or amazement because you understand that that's again a soul who's God's child. So you will see them but at the same time not be affected by them. That's what it means. You will not see anyone. They will just not be visible to you. So who will be visible? Only God. God's given qualities in that soul too. So even if you see some something good in the other person, you'll be praising the God. Not that person. Right? So Baba says that's the way to get liberated from a lot of things, from a lot of entanglements. So with this beautiful message, a vartan, a blessing, I leave you for today. Om Shanti. Thank you.